Welcome to part two of Consultant Branding and Marketing. You know when you go to a party or networking event and you meet new people, you inevitably will ask that one question. You know what I'm talking about. At some point in the conversation, you will be asked, what do you do? Do you know that the number one indicator if you have completed your brand definition is determined by how you answer that question? If you can get to a point where you are so clear on the context that your unique expertise is needed that the people you talk to know in an instant, if they're a prospect or they know someone who is, you've done an amazing job defining your consulting brand. This type of clarity is what we're going after in this part of the course. To get to this objective, we'll be doing five things. First, we're gonna start with an internal scan on you, your strengths, your experiences, and how all of that comes together into a marketable expertise that excites you. I'll be asking you to look inside and mine from within what you're naturally good at and that which brings you joy. Second, we're gonna do an external scan on the competitive marketplace to both identify the need and where you fit in. Again, there's room for all types of consultants, so the goal here is simply to find out where you fit amongst all those consultants and the consulting needs that are out there. Third, we're gonna build on our understanding of our ideal clients that we started to think about in the last course. We're gonna create client archetypes to help us focus our expertise in marketing messages. Fourth, we're gonna create a strategic brand profile. I've used this tool countless times with large corporate clients like Walt Disney World, as well as smaller companies and organizations. I've also used this tool with individual mentees to help them with their branding. The goal of this tool is just to simply help you sort and organize your internal and external scan information in a way that's useful for you and your branding. And then fifth and finally, we're gonna wrap up this part of the course by creating a branded response to the question, what do you do? This response is not intended to be the be all end all of your branding efforts. It's not supposed to be your tagline. It may never show up on your website, but will help you adopt the language that you'll need to create all of those helpful things. I would encourage you to not rush through the content in this part of the course, especially not the exercises. What we're doing now is focusing on you and revisiting questions that I'm sure you've been asked before. This is probably not the first time that you're asked to identify your strengths and your values and your expertise. I mean, I've even asked you those questions before. But even so, take your time to refine your understanding of who you are and what you care about and the difference that you know you can make in the context of your consultant brand. So for pre-work, download the worksheet that's associated with this video. And in it, you're gonna find a series of questions about your life. By completing this exercise, you're gonna get clues into your strengths, your passion, and the source of both of those. And when you're done, join me in the next video and let's get started on discovering your consulting brand.